WrestleMania season is upon us, and the lay of the land starts at the Royal Rumble. Many questions leading up to this event could or will be answered. Who's going to WrestleMania 40? Will there be any surprise entrance in both the women's and men's Royal Rumble? Who will be the dominant competitor in either Rumble? Will Cody Rhodes and CM Punk have a face-off? And will the landscape stay on track? Or will everything go off course to WrestleMania and beyond? Those questions and more might be answered in our Royal Rumble Prediction Show. It's episode four. Let's get ready to rumble. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Welcome to our new year. It's going to be the biggest battleground in the history of our sport. Let's go, let's go to witness. He has broken it. You want some? Come get some! Acknowledge me. The irresistible force meeting the immovable object. Welcome wrestling fans to the fourth episode of the Wrestling Universe Channel's podcast where pro wrestling fans discuss what we love, pro wrestling. So if it's your first time listening, we, the Wrestling Universe Channel, would like to thank you for taking the time to listen. And if you have returned, we want to give you a special shout out, a thanks for sticking around the Wrestling Universe channel. We invite you to follow us on Spotify and YouTube, links provided below, depending on what you're listening to. Get on with it. Yes, get on with it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on just a second. If you're in the market for some advertising for your podcast, YouTube channel, Twitch account, Instagram, whatever, then go ahead and send us a private message on our Instagram page where we can get you set up and featured here on the Wrestling Universe channel. Get on with it! All right, all right. Let's begin. What do you guys want to talk about? WWE presents the Royal Rumble that will be held on Saturday, January 27th at Tropicana Field in St. Petersburg, Florida. Wait, that's like down the road. Are we the Wrestling Universe channel going to the Royal Rumble? Mm, let me uh, let me check my uh, let me check my Christmas bonus. Let's see. Getting a little excited. Of to one year membership in the Jelly of the Month Club. Okay. That's the gift that keeps on giving the whole year. Well, maybe I can buy a ticket. Let's really quickly go on to ticket websites here. Hold on, let's see. Um... Oh my god! Oh my god! Do I get a decent meal with those ticket prices? Wow! Are tickets costing that much? It's pro wrestling, holy crap! That's a topic for another discussion. So, like I said, the Wrestling Universe channel will be watching the Royal Rumble like many from the comfort of our homes and what a Royal Rumble it will be. And for the record, I don't claim to be an expert. We don't have any connections with WWE, AEW, TNA, or other wrestling organizations. We're pro wrestling fans. Like many of you, we think of these scenarios and storylines that are either better than the real outcome, Brilliant! Thank you. Thank you. or fall flat in the dumpster. It stinks, it stinks. But anyway, let's get the prediction show moving right along. All of these predictions are being recorded on this date, January 22nd, 2024. First up is the Women's Royal Rumble match. And I will be honest with you, like I have been with the Wrestling Universe channel staff. I am really open to this Women's Royal Rumble, almost welcoming, as I really would like to see a lot of storylines being created in this Women's Rumble match. And I hope that is the case. 
So let's start off with predicting the standouts. We feel that either Dakota Kai or Roxana Perez will really make their presence felt in this year's Royal Rumble match, especially Dakota Kai, which leads us into the shocking prediction. Like many of you, we think Bailey's run as a heel is over. And I won't be surprised to see Bailey be thrown out of damage control, literally during the Royal Rumble women's match, leading to the end of Bailey being a part of damage control. What do you fans think about that option? Is it overdue? Do you also agree? Or do you disagree? This leads us into our surprise predictions. First and foremost, welcome back, Naomi. Trinity, whatever fits best. Naomi makes her return to hell try and save Bailey from the double team attack of damage control, which could lead to a tag team match at either Elimination Chamber or WrestleMania. We also see Mickey James making a surprise return, as we feel she will be inducted into this year's Hall of Fame class. I mean, she is the real life wife to the SmackDown GM, Nick Aldis. It almost seems like Mickey will put a stamp on her full-time career at the Royal Rumble. Another surprise entrance would probably be Trish Stratus, who I wouldn't be surprised that actually inducts Mickey James into the Hall of Fame this year. But besides that, we know Trish has some unfinished business since her last appearance and also wouldn't be surprised if WWE signs Trish Stratus to compete at WrestleMania. And the last big surprise, I would have to agree with the buzz. It would totally be cool to see AJ Lee back in a WWE ring. Hell has already frozen over, so why not add another name to that cold tundra? It would be cool to give AJ another run and see her compete with some of the current rosters, and yeah, having a mixed tag with her husband would always be in the cards. But seeing AJ Lee compete against Charlotte Flair, Becky Lynch, Rhea Ripley, would bring some additional entertainment. So who's going to win the Women's Royal Rumble? We at the Wrestling Universe channel are torn between two competitors, and the shocker, these two competitors are not Becky Lynch. That's almost a given to the storyline and drama between her and Rhea Ripley. So if we had to nix a on the Becky Lynch, the Wrestling Universe channel picks either Tiffany Stratton or Jade Cargill. It almost seems inevitable that Jade makes her debut at the Royal Rumble and wins the whole thing. But Tiffany Stratton is really proving herself to be the future women's champion for the company. And I can see her using this Royal Rumble as her launching pad. Plus, having Triple H and Shawn Michaels in your corner might help just a little bit too. Let's move on to the WWE United States Championship match as Kevin Owens challenges Logan Paul. There's a part of me that really wants to be hyped about this match, while a part of me thinks this is just a let me up match, which I think the world of Kevin Owens, who does bust his ass for WWE. But I have to admit, Logan Paul rubs me the wrong way. I think he's a great athlete, but personally, I don't like him. Is he a smart businessman? Yeah. I guess. But does that matter in the WWE as a professional wrestler? Tell me. I don't stand alone by this. I mean, he's annoying. He fakes his own death. He puts himself first. He thinks he is the best reality YouTuber ever. And I don't think he really cares about the WWE or pro wrestling. Just the green. I would love to see Kevin Owens take Logan Paul's sponsored energy drink, Prime, which is beyond terrible for you, and shove it up Paul's butt. On a side note, here's a plug for the show. 
The Wrestling Universe channel was invited by our YouTube friends Rowdy Rider Review to be a part of their prediction show and this was our match to predict using WWE 2K23. We invite you to see our outcome as well as hear other channels predictions on the 2024 Royal Rumble. We will provide a link for you to check that out so please do so. But for this podcast we believe there will be a couple high spots maybe involving a table but the Wrestling Universe channel is wanting the United States title to be placed on someone that cares about the business and sacrifices themselves. And that's why we believe Kevin Owens will be the next United States champion. Before we continue on wrestling fans, let's take a quick break to hear from our sponsors. We all grew up with wrestling action figures. Spending hours upon hours coming up with creative matches to see our favorite wrestlers go head to head. Well, action figures are bigger now than ever before and we have a channel that you should check out. Rowdy Rider Reviews has some of the most entertaining reviews of WWE and AEW action figures, toys, and more. Join Ryder with the assistance of his father, give their personal reviews on the newest action figures, toys, and much more. You can check them out on YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter to be notified and informed from the views and opinions of these wrestling toys from this youngster that will truly keep you entertained. Go check out Rowdy Rider Reviews now and enjoy. All right, the Wrestling Universe channel is back as we continue on with episode four. Let's get ready to rumble. And we are moving on to the fatal four-way match for the undisputed WWE Universal title. The Tribal Chief Roman Reigns will be defending the title against Randy Orton, AJ Styles, and LA Knight. Now tell me, why are we having this? We all want The Rock against Roman Reigns. No offense to Randy Orton, AJ Styles, or LA Knight, but why have this match? It's the Royal Rumble. Winner gets a shot at the champion at WrestleMania. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? Hey, think the fly thing. And WWE wants us to believe that Roman Reigns is in jeopardy for losing the title? I don't think so. (laughs) Homie don't play that. Are we supposed to forget about CM Punk? The Rock? And of course, Cody Rhodes? Nah, not buying this match. I mean, if anything comes about from this, it will be Randy Orton entering himself into the Elimination Chamber and a match between AJ Styles and LA Knight at either Elimination Chamber or WrestleMania. This match is to get the rust off of Roman Reigns since we haven't even seen him since... um... How long has it been? It's been too long. We are not predicting a winner because we know the answer. Of course it's Roman Reigns. But what we will be watching for is The Rock to show up and interfere in the match. Now, that is the only reason I'll be watching this because you know Tropicana Field will pop as soon as they hear if you smell. and they see Roman's eyes pop out of his head. Will the interference cause a disqualification? Maybe. But don't be surprised if Roman is looking towards the entranceway seeing the rock and when Reigns turns around, Orton hits him with an RKO, but for a close two count. But again, the tribal chief will be victorious only because there is a storyline with the American Nightmare that needs to be finished. And the final match of this show is what has brought us to the dance. It is now time for the Royal Rumble! The Men's Royal Rumble. And let me say this, with the amount of people under contract at WWE, I would totally hate it if anyone from matches previously in the night 
also participated in the Royal Rumble match as well. There is so much talent that WWE needs to feature more from all three brands and not schedule anyone like Logan Paul or Kevin Owens, so no double duty competitors. Who is going to be the dominant participant? That didn't sound right. right? I, I, I think we need to try that again. What do you think? Do you think we need to try again? Yes, let's, let's add a little bit more of an effect, okay? Who's going to be the most dominant force in the Royal Rumble? One word. Gunther. Gunther will be the most dominant participant in this year's Royal Rumble match and maybe ever. We could see him eliminate as many as 14 competitors this year, breaking the record held by Brock Lesnar, which was in 2020, and Lesnar eliminated 13 competitors, if you're keeping score. I wouldn't be surprised to see Gunther enter at number two and last until the final four. And if you remember, Gunther holds a record for being the longest from last year's Royal Rumble. I think he spent a total of like one hour and 11 minutes, which I think he will break as well at this year's Royal Rumble. Face to face. I can see CM Punk and Cody Rhodes squaring off against each other, like Hogan and Warrior did in the 1990 Rumble, or Austin and Rock in the 2001 Rumble, but I do not believe Rhodes and Punk will have the same outcome or finish like Bret Hart and Lex Luger, or Batista and John Cena did. We're not going to get an instant replay, both feet hitting the ground scenario. That's not going to happen, but the crowd will come to its feet when we see CM Punk lock eyes with the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, in the center of the ring. What about surprises? This past year has truly been a wild ride filled with excitement, surprises, and drama. More drama, even more drama, than anything else. And to be honest with you, the Royal Rumble has always been one of my favorite events from the WWE, especially when it comes to the surprises. And we have all seen our fair share of them within the Royal Rumble match. So here are some of our predictions for the men's Royal Rumble match. Be on the lookout for Ken Shamrock, as we the Wrestling Universe channel believe this year he will be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. Plus, with the merger with UFC, it almost makes sense for the most dangerous man to be a surprise entrant in the Royal Rumble match. Almost like a tipping of the cap. We might see an ankle lock. He might toss one guy over the top rope. But nothing more than that. What about Brock Lesnar? Okay, not really a big surprise, but with so much talk about having Lesnar battling Gunther, it would be cool to have Brock Lesnar show up and eliminate Gunther, and that spot to be the start of the storyline leading into a match at WrestleMania between the two, even though we, the Wrestling Universe channel, still believe Gunther will be in the Final Four. But it will be cool to see if Brock Lesnar does show up, and we do get the start of the storyline between these two. Another possibility is to actually see SmackDown's GM Nick Aldis compete. I mean, when I first heard Aldis was signed by WWE, I, like many, thought finally Nick Aldis is getting his chance in the spotlight, but how wrong I was as he was assigned to the GM role. But for how long? Maybe the Royal Rumble changes all that. Now, there is a lot of rumblings going on. And when I mean about rumblings, I mean rumors. And let's be honest, if we heard this song, yes, we would all be freaking out. But at this point in time, WWE is way too crowded with full-time and part-time attractions. If MJF would head to New York, he would not get the full treatment he rightfully deserves. And really, unless backstage politics work their magic, not to say they haven't, I wouldn't expect AEW to lose MJF for another five years. MJF is AEW's crown jewel and will help them soar to new heights. But Andrade, 
On the other hand, I could see going either way. I could see him showing up as a surprise, as an agreement slash favor to test the waters. I mean, Mickey James did appear in the Royal Rumble last year, even though she was a part of Impact. Oh, and she was wearing the Impact women's title as well. But Andrade still has a lot of abilities not shown off in AEW. But it wouldn't shock me to see Andrade in WWE. I mean, as of the date of this recording, neither MJF nor Andrade are featured on the AEW website. I guess we will have to wait and see. I could also see Matt Cordon return for this event, but not sign with WWE just yet, as he does have a match signed to fight Nick Nemeth at GCW's event, The Coldest Winter 2, in February. And on a side note, how cool is that match going to be to see Zack Ryder and Dolph Ziggler go at it one-on-one -on -one at GCW's Coldest Winter 2? But it would be awesome to actually see Matt Cardona show up for one match only in WWE, and that being the Royal Rumble. And my last surprise, but nothing huge, almost kind of puzzling to see Pat McAfee show up in the Royal Rumble match. We could see him being invited to the broadcast booth like last year, but also as a participant in the Royal Rumble. Something reminisce of when Jerry the King Lawler would do double duties as a commentator and wrestler Wait, 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 wait. You're probably saying to yourself, what about the people's champion? What about the rock? Um, yeah, it would be great. But if the rock does step foot for a match in a WWE ring, it will be during the undisputed universal title match. That That's it. Not the Royal Rumble match. The Rock is big money. WWE's got plenty of talent, plenty of storylines. Throwing The Rock into this Royal Rumble match, that'd be a little crazy. That We're talking pipe dream prediction there. Huh, maybe we can do that for next year. It's an idea. And what about John Moxley? <laughs> that's too funny to be true. I mean, that's like hell freezing over. Wait, that did happen already, so if CM Punk could do that, then what if John Moxley- Nah, never in a million, billion, zillion years do I see John Moxley showing up for this year's Royal Rumble. No way. And for the final prediction, the winner. This goes back to our original Final Four participants. Who's going to win the Men's Royal Rumble? Well, first, let me say that the Final Four participants at the Royal Rumble will end up being Cody Rhodes, CM Punk, Gunther, and Damian Priest. But who's going to win? This isn't a shock. And everyone is predicting it. Majority of the staff members of the Wrestling Universe channel see this happening. I don't. And that is CM Punk. I know. I know. You're saying, but it's Cody Rhodes. The story. It's WrestleMania. And honestly, the chase, or story, or whatever you want to call it, is not dead. Hear me out on this prediction. Imagine Cody Rhodes, CM Punk, Gunther, and Damian Priest are the final four wrestlers in the Royal Rumble. Both Cody and Punk are standing in the middle of the ring, eye to eye, when from behind Priest attacks Cody while Gunther attacks Punk. Cody, getting the upper hand over Priest, close lines Priest over the top rope. Cody then assists Punk so they both eliminate Gunther, leaving once again CM Punk and Cody Rhodes in the middle of the ring as the final two. Both men exchange fists and maneuvers as Cody once again gets the upper hand. 
everything is going Cody Rhodes' way until Priest slides in and throws Cody over the top rope, leaving CM Punk all alone in the center of the ring. Your winner of the 2024 Royal Rumble, CM Punk. That's an overall prediction of who we think is going to be the winner. As we are recording this, it is Monday, January 22nd. Stuff has happened recently in the WWE regarding the World Heavyweight Champion, Seth Rollins. We don't know what's going to be done or said at tonight's Monday Night Raw, but there is a scheduled announcement for Seth Rollins. We're really wondering what Seth Rollins has to say, what WWE is going to do due to this injury, if it's legit, especially literally days away from the Royal Rumble. So the Wrestling Universe channel wants to do a special bonus prediction with this whole setup for Seth Rollins tonight on Monday Night Raw. This is how we're looking at it. Here's our first prediction. CM Punk, after winning the Royal Rumble, will show up on the following night on Raw to challenge Seth Rollins for the Gold Foil World title at WrestleMania. I mean, the World Heavyweight title at WrestleMania. My bad. At that same Raw, Cody Rhodes and Damian Priest will have a match, and the winner gets to participate at the Elimination Chamber. Cody wins that match, goes to the Elimination Chamber, and is victorious and is awarded to face Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 40. Bear with us here. This is if everything continues to be fine with Seth Rollins. If that still stands, at WrestleMania 40, during a brutal, memorable Seth Rollins CM Punk match, Rollins comes out victorious. But the celebration doesn't last long as Damian Priest immediately cashes in his Money in the Bank contract and becomes the new world champion. Also at WrestleMania 40, in the birthplace of America, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the story is completed as we all witness the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes become the undisputed universal champion. We're not done there. We're not done there. Remember, we said Final Four, CM Punk, Cody Rhodes, Damian Priest. Who was the last one? That's right, Gunther. Let's fast forward to Money in the Bank. Bear with us. Bear with us. We've put a lot of thought into this. We're wrestling fans just like you, so we know when we start gathering our thoughts together and having a conversation around the water cooler, things are said. And we believe Gunther will win Money in the Bank this year. Which is a huge bonus because Gunther deserves a world title match. Okay, now let's let's backtrack real quick. We know we're giving you a lot of information here. Let's say Seth Rollins needs surgery. And he announces on tonight's Monday Night Raw that he is relinquishing the world title. The Wrestling Universe channel would not be shocked if... It is decided at the Royal Rumble, the winner will not get a number one contender match at WrestleMania with a champion of who he decides. Instead, the world title will be given to the winner of the Royal Rumble. Does this cause us to change our prediction of who's going to win the Royal Rumble? Unfortunately, no. Why would they put it on Cody? Instead, this ultimately puts CM Punk to the top of the list and opens up a storyline for Seth Rollins to come back and beat CM Punk. That's if, and a big if, Damian Priest decides to cash in his money in the bank at the Royal Rumble after CM Punk wins. I know, this is crazy, but then... We do also know CM Punk is scheduled to be at Elimination Chamber. So, why not add a little bit more drama? Have CM Punk win the Royal Rumble match. Have Damian Priest come out after the Rumble match, cash in the Money in the Bank contract, become 
the new world champion, and then CM Punk and Damian Priest are having a world heavyweight title match at Elimination Chamber. Again, we know there's a lot to digest here in all these scenarios, but this is the kind of stuff that pro wrestling fans talk about. We get excited for it. Any of these possibilities can happen. So what else is there to do? Let's go home. Going home. Going home. Going Go home. home. Going home. Overall, I am actually pretty excited for this year's Royal Rumble. As I, like many, will be watching it to see how everything plays out. What do you guys think of our predictions? What do you guys think of our scenarios? Does this Royal Rumble turn out to be for the World Heavyweight title? This would only be the third time the Royal Rumble would ever have to immediately decide a champion. That makes it a little more exciting. Do you all agree to some of these predictions or scenarios? Do you guys disagree? I mean, are we way off? We love to hear your comments below. But most importantly, we hope you all enjoy the 2024 Royal Rumble. We hope you like our podcast show and we hope you check out all of our socials, YouTube, Instagram. And I've been hearing some rumblings that the Wrestling Universe channel might be heading over to Twitch. Hmm. Is that, is that, can we get a confirmation on that? But most importantly, continue to enjoy being a pro wrestling fan. So long from now, fans.